I like when we get to see the intro. Oh, oh my goodness. I never realized there was so much. Kissing. Well, not kissing, of course, just being extremely close. I wonder who this main guy is. He shows up in the things. Is he gonna show up? Anyway. So, 15th day. Which means we're halfway through. But we should. <laughs> I keep saying it's probably quite irritating. But we'll try and get through quicker. No goth BF for Skyrimmer. I don't know. Most of them seem to have mildly gothy streaks. Oh no, I thought it was going to be golf. <laughs> Gotta finish this game. And then we can move on to the sequel to this game. So, what's Mine Sin? So much she's excited about the manager. Yeah, I'm, now I'm reminded, Sawa dresses with uh, a quite Kentian flair. She's got the clovers, she's got the... She's got mini belts. I thought she was a sister. I guess not. I'll just say some hellos. Hello, Master Day. Hello, Bell Blair. Hello, Scientologist. Hello Beano PSN Hello BH Boy Hobo of Hell Hello Stuba Thanks for coming Ah, are you up? Perfect timing, the manager said Okay So as she fell asleep She didn't even hear what the plan was Oh, right Well you see, we were planning to have that employee Summer outing tomorrow the one Mine thought of before. It's at a pool, a heated pool. It's odd when Mine does that face because it feels like something that isn't actually in Japanese stuff, but more like when Western stuff tries to be Japanese. Yeah, but it's a little too cold to go swimming at the beach. Now that me and Mine are friends, she should stop with the with the hand to mouth. It's anyway. Sal was planning for us to see a different side of everyone that we don't normally see, and at the same time check out some hot guys. <laughs> I like the uh, the serious face on Mine for saying that. This is serious, guys. Hot guys. Mine just called it an employee event so we could invite the manager to. Crafty. It's a perfect plan. So now that you know, you should go ahead and invite Kent. Wait, they want what? Kent doesn't even have anything to do with work stuff. We can leave the cafe to Toma. He'll manage just fine. One guy's gonna run the whole... If anyone shows up at the cafe hoping for maids, Tom is gonna have to do a quick change. Can I invite Shin Cup? I'll send him a message. Shin? Maybe that's the guy who I was just saying from the opening. I feel like we've heard that name a number of times but we've never met anyone by that name. He must work at the same place since his name's always coming up. He might just work on days that you don't have shifts. Wow, I'm getting kind of nervous. It's been a while since we met someone new. It's been 15 days and we've met new people almost every day. Ryan, you take it easy. We can't mess up. We need to get through it. 
What's wrong? You should send Kent a message and ask if he's free. <laughs> Every time we mention Kent, you disappear into a reverie. Okay, folks, you're up. For anyone new to the stream, you should know that as I play this game, I turn to the chat to make all the decisions that we come across. Kent is busy, 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 busy. Okay. Best boy Shin. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Kent is very busy. Yeah, I'm sure he is. But there'll be other men there. Oh, don't you think he'll get mad if you go without telling him? Uh, I don't know about mad, but he would get jealous. Oh, head pats inbound. I guess you should contact him. If you ask him if you can go, there shouldn't be a problem. If you ask him if you can go, there shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't have to ask if you can go. Huh? <laughs> that was a pause. A trip to the pool with co-workers? Aren't there men among them? I'm not in a position to tell you what you can and can't do, but I can't say that I like this. Wow. Get fucked, Ken. Are? He doesn't seem to like the idea of you going. Maybe you should invite him? Then would you like to come along too? Yeah, I think you can send that. Poor Skyrimmer. I mean, Orion's our mate as well, but it's still like... Kent's given us the, mm, I don't like that. And then we got Orion saying, here's what you should reply. I think you can send that. Maybe I've got an idea that I'd like to... Oh. If there are no issues with my going, I'll accompany you. Whoa, very assertive. Oh, we're all very impressed by the assertiveness. Folks, I apologize for the yawning. I was at a, a wedding yesterday and last night. So basically, I'm all I'm all full of love and romance. So I knew today I needed to recover with a bit of mushy VN action. I'm just seeing all the fuck off Kents in the in the chat now. He's rubbish. He is bad. He's misunderstood. Socially weird. Well. I don't know, maybe, like, if this Shin guy shows up and he's, he's the better man. How'd the wedding go? The speech. Scientologist, thank you for asking. I had to do a, a reading in the church in front of a full concession. I don't know if that's even the word. But it went very well. Shin says he'll go. All right, he fell for it. We'll go to the pool tomorrow. Uh-oh. That means pool drawings. There it is. Do you have swimsuits? I was thinking of getting a new one. Do you want to go buy them together? We're swimsuit shopping, folks. Oh, I'll go. I only have a racing swimsuit. So, at this rate, you'll never get a boyfriend. Oh, be quiet. That's why I'm trying to change things now. Don't change, Sawa. A racing swimsuit, that sounds cool. You get the cool guys. Uh, I hope someone tries to pick me up at the pool. That attitude is no good. You need to take the initiative and approach guys yourself. Just grab him. Just grab a man. I'm serious. That's why we need to go buy bikinis to show off. 
I so rarely in my day-to-day -day life actually need to say the word bikini out loud. Let's put on makeup and go. You too, Skyrim. Oh, what a, what a girly day. Orion, get your makeup on. We're buying bikinis. You're gonna show off that belly button. We're gonna go grab some men. I guess we'll just go along with them today. And if possible, we need to find out more about Shin. <laughs> oh, there's Kent getting the text. I'm gonna get some Kent D tonight. The off-model animated faces really freak, freak me out. Large offspring. Oh, and do you have a favorite anime girl yet? Like what, in this? Or just in general? Ah, rabble rabble, all this noise has destroyed my brain. Ah, I was about to go unconscious. Oh, I must be... Maybe the bikini shopping brought back so many memories that Orion's fading away, he's starting with his brains. Poor Orion's turning to mush. Wow, they aren't kidding when they say a group of three girls gets rowdy. You're pretty quiet though, so it's not too bad. Well, that wasn't a very good source of new information. You did manage to buy a swimsuit, so it was kind of productive. <laughs> what? We're trying to get my memories back. I wonder if this is really okay. It's already August 15th. Oh! Thinking Orion, look at that! It's serious. Oh, never mind. Wait, it's already August 15th. Then there are only 10 days left until Ken's conference. And he's going to England after that, right? Doesn't that mean you only have 10 days left to talk to Kent? And three of those are work days. This is bad. We don't have time to relax. So let's go to the pool and talk to Shin. I wonder what you thought of Ken studying abroad before you lost your memories. If you really wanted to stop him, you wouldn't be playing around. You need to talk to Kent more. All I was thinking was that it would be fine if you just regained your memories, but maybe all of this has been robbing you of the precious time you have left with him. Sizable offspring. Orion is a good boy. Doesn't your brain explode in 15 days? What's the more pressing issue here? Hello, light bulb. You got 27 people watching, by the way. My God. Maybe all of this has just been robbing you of the precious time you have left him. It's possible that because you don't have your memories, something will happen that cannot be undone. I'm sorry. I'll work harder so you can get your memories back faster. There you go, folks. It's all kicking off. Was that a day? I suppose we did go shopping. Views spiked up to 34. Spiked to 34. I'm delighted that there's 34 people watching. But uh, <laughs> when you say spiked to 34, it really dawns on me what, what a small fry I am. Okay, looks like everyone's here. Let's all go to the pool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Folks. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let the chat catch up. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, he also like, likes belts, like Kent, but, um, he's far more, far more reserved with the belts. So, what, like, is, I presume this, this is, that's Kent just over now, right? 
Kent it this is a Kent is over pool party. Kent who? <laughs> I only wish I could pull off a, like a genuinely good, handsome voice. I heard this was a gathering for people working at Meido no Hitsuji, so I thought I was obligated to come. Oh, we've never seen him before. Maybe he's Shin? He's got a harsh air around him. I wonder how close you two were. Yeah, it's an informal gathering for Meido no Hitsuji. Just like I told you. Then why isn't Toma here? He's the one who works the most. Look out, folks. He's got frowny, droopy eyes. <laughs> Obligated to come. I'm just glancing at the chat and seeing... It's feverish in there. If Toma came, who would look after the cafe? I don't know, maybe the manager? He's grumpy! Grumpy pool party. But the manager definitely had to come. This is a gathering for the manager and his employees. What? Was that really why we're here? Did you hear about this manager? I'd be happy if you could con you could affirm or deny this. That was a yes. How do you know? Oh, he's he's a grumpy boy. Eh? How do you not understand? You really need to get to know him better. Toma already understands the manager perfectly, so he's fine. <laughs> fine. Not like I mind. It's not like I don't care or anything. Like, whatever. Jeez. Then who's that big guy? I've never met him before. <laughs> He's. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was caught off guard by the name Skyrimmer. He's Skyrimmer's boyfriend. We've, be we've become so accustomed to Skyrimmer's name that. Every now and then, it's just... <laughs> uh, uh, big... Big tear wipe. <laughs> what? What's her boyfriend doing at an employee gathering? Well, we thought they should deepen their bonds too. So this is killing two birds with one stone. I like that sour expression. It's just like, what's your fucking... Beef shin? Beef shin cup. I don't understand this at all. This guy should be a good friend with Ken. <laughs> I didn't hear that this was an employee only gathering. Is it really okay for an outsider like me to be here? Well, I don't really get it, but if you're here anyways, I'll introduce myself. I'm Shin. It's nice to meet you. Huh? He's actually pretty well mannered. He can be tamed, ladies. I'm Kent. I'm studying mathematics at Seichi University. Yes, I heard from my brother. There's a brother too. Wait, does this mean an older brother? Could that mean he's the younger brother of someone you know? I see. Skyrimmer, who's his brother? Ah, don't ask us. Oh. Well, you're up, chat. I love Shin's angry face. I want him to push me up against a locker and steal my lunch money. And you wouldn't have lunch money. I mean... You'd have the, uh, you'd have the sexy thrill, but then you wouldn't have your sandwiches. <laughs> Let's hook this guy up with your everybody golf girl. We're getting cr stream crossover action. That's the fan art now. You can get, you can draw, someone can draw Shin and 
goth golf girlfriend. <laughs> Shin doing around a mini golf. Why are all the boys in this game brats? Because they need to be tamed. Toma. Toma. The manager. Okay. Same Toma. Icky. It would be, it'd be a good twist if Icky was the, the boyfriend. I guess it was right though. Why do you sound so uncertain? Ah, you got it right. Well, it's a better question than Kent's maths quiz. Oh well, my brother's named Toma. He had a math lesson with you before. Ah, the lesson I gave at Myoga University, where I was invited by Sawa and the others, although I hesitate to call that a lesson. Now I understand. I heard that most of the people there were co-workers, but I see your brother was there as well. Yes, that's why I know about you. I also heard that Skyrimmer disliked you, yet you managed to hold on and get her to go out with you. Boy, we're having some blunt conversation here. <laughs> Yeah, suck on that, Kent. I won't get in your way. Go right ahead and deepen your bonds. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. I'm just... <laughs> oh, I just... I'm thinking of someone who like has only learned about human interaction through... Games like this. <laughs> like, if I was at the wedding last night and a couple were having a conversation and you just go, Oh, uh, I won't get in your way. Go right ahead and deepen your bonds. See you later. Go right ahead and deepen your bonds. Oh, sorry, are you deep? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were deepening your bonds. Sorry. I see. So even someone as distant from me as Toma could tell that you disliked me. Must have been all those pies to the face. Well, that's no surprise. Well, I think he's feeling hurt now. But it looks like other people really did see you as not taking a liking to Kent. Is Kent going to get into a belt-based swimsuit? Uh oh. Wow, it's the pool. This is the first time all summer. Actually, I know there's a button that makes all the words disappear from the screen, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> is Shin is in the background biting a. Or is he? Is he inflating the thing? Is that... <laughs> the side mouth on Skyrimmer. It's not great. Well, and Sawa looks a bit... I don't know. A creepy, dead-eyed stare. It reminds me of that monkey with the symbols. Well, it hasn't exactly been good weather for going to a pool. Sugoi! It's an indoor pool, but you can see the sky. This is so nice. Sorry. Oh, it was a late one. Sorry. Wow. What are you thinking? Just what are you thinking? Wearing a bathing suit like that. It's almost like underwear. Didn't you know I would be coming? Oh, for fuck's sake, Kent. Look at all those slender bods. You could crack an egg on those bods. This is what we came for. Drown Kent. Do you understand how dangerous it is to show so much skin to a man you're dating? 
that's not to say it's okay to show it to other men either. Ken, you're cruising for a kick in the dick. Enough. Come with me. Kent, where are you going? I'm sorry to Sawa and the others, but I can't let you look like this in front of such a large number of men. That's a look at that drawing of Kent, his head's horrible. If we do this, I won't see you either. I'll have you stay with me like this until it's time to leave. We'll just prune up. Well, if you want to be alone, I could let you do that too. I'll just... You just stay in the pool. I'll go. But if a woman shows herself like this and she's alone, there'd definitely be people who would have wicked thoughts. I think the best option would be for me to stay with you. Or maybe my sense of reason is growing dull. I'll just stay with Sal and the others, or I want you to stay with me, Ken. I've got... I've got a pretty good idea of what the chat's gonna go for here and I, I'm not I don't think I'm gonna argue Kent just cares Kent is a fucking prude I'm so done wow Kent is trying to save us from an empty life of debauchery Kent is a full psycho Japan this is what Japan actually believes Oh dear, Ken's been on or relationships again. I vote to shoot for the Yandra ending where we kill Kent. All in favor of going full Yandra. Sour, sour, sour and co, sour. Yeah, sour. <laughs> well, folks, the thing is, everyone's trying really hard to get off the Kent path, but I think. I'm sorry, like every time we've tried to go off road, we've been railroaded right back in there. So I think as soon as we picked Clover Universe, that was it. But maybe, maybe we can get ourselves killed and that'll free us. But men like Shin are with Sour. It's not like I'm doubtful of them, but. Why, what's Shin's deal? What do you know, Kent? Do you even know? Do you even know him? I really want you to be near me. I'm sorry for dragging you away so forcefully. I'm sure you were surprised. Your shoulders are so small and your arms, I didn't think they were so thin. <sighs> oh dear. Oh dear. I suppose women are just built light and weak. Just gonna I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the chat to catch up. <laughs> this this is Ken sweet talking us. A lot of caps locks here. <laughs> I could break you like a twig. <laughs> yep, he's been he's been on that Reddit. <laughs> Women are naturally pathetic, unlike me, Kent. <laughs> I now see that I should treat you with more care. I apologize. I'll be more careful from now on. In the past, I wouldn't have apologized. And you would have gotten angry with me, telling me not to treat a woman so roughly. Back when we started going out, I didn't think that we'd be able to maintain this relationship so peacefully. I thought we would fight and break up almost immediately. And I had half given up. But reality sure does have its unexpected developments. I really wonder why you changed so much. Do you not intend to tell me the reason? 
Maybe we can tame him. And we kick him in the dick. Past me, past me, okay. I prefer you now. No, that's wrong. Both are you. I think you changed, but deep down, you're the same. Your attitude towards me simply became a little softer, and I welcome that change. <laughs> you became more accepting of my total bullshit. When I asked you to go out with me, I only said vaguely that I think that I like you. Oh, for fuck's sake, Kent. At that time, I even believed that those feelings might simply have been some sort of misunderstanding. For fuck's sake, Kent. All we did was argue after all. I couldn't find any reason why I would have any romantic feelings for you. For fuck's sake, Kent. But I have to admit now, those feelings can't be anything besides romantic emotions. I sure hope everyone else is having a fun time at the pool. When it comes to you, I lose my sense of reason. My logic goes to one side. I want to have you all to myself. I want to see you all the time. Even if there's a chance of an argument, I want to hear your voice. I even provoke you childishly. Let me tell you, every time I yawn, I'm reminded of the lovely wedding yesterday. Let me tell you, the meal, the food, it was so good. So good. I mean, wedding food standards are always good, but this was another level. And uh, everyone got to take home a tiny jar of honey. And I had that honey this morning with a bit of, had a bit of cheese as well, a nice soft cheese. And oh, it was good. Party never stops. Sorry, I'm missing all the all the fury in the in the chat. <laughs> Folks, don't fight. This hasn't changed since then. Actually, now that we are able to speak so peacefully like this, my feelings are even more clear. It seems <gasps> that I really am in love with you. There it is. I really am in love with him. I don't need to hear your answer yet. Although it is a little bit wasteful to just talk since we're at a pool. Let's swim a little. But just stay underwater where no one can see you. Are you good at swimming? If you're in the water, you'll be able to avoid any wandering eyes. I know. How about we have a contest to see who can swim the furthest? Let's see who can deep dive the farthest. I'll give you as much of a handicap as you want. Fucking hell. It's like, you're definitely, like, I don't, I only asked, do you swim? But I already know I'm definitely better than you. If I win, please just don't leave the water until I bring you a towel. Is that fair? We weren't given an option to tell him to get fucked. <laughs> Must you play this game? <laughs> you know, it's fun that uh, like the two games that I go back and forth between streaming. One's the golf game, very calm and relaxed. The chat is the most chilled out thing, and this is also like this should be the most relaxed thing in the world. But the passion, the fury. The screams, the cries, the emotions that this game is <laughs> invoking in everyone. Can't you just play The Sopranos again? Was this really a gathering to deepen bonds? Skyrimmer was off and around the whole time. Not like I care or anything. I mean... If you even respond to my question, I'm not even gonna listen to the answer. It's like, <sighs> now, now, it's rude to question her over such tiny details. 
We didn't... I don't think we saw... Was Waka in Trunks or anything? Maybe he was. I think he probably was. Wait! Even you look like you agree with her, Waka. Oh, see? You've gotten to know the manager's expressions too. That's plenty of bonding. Right, manager? Can you imagine... Can you imagine going swimming and then getting into that gear afterwards when you're in that horrible after swimming, you know, in the heat, it's sweaty, it is warm, getting dressed up in that. Yay, it looks like the manager had fun too. I'm happy. Aren't you just interpreting him however you want? Is any of this even correct? This is... This is like... Shin reading... Garfield comics... And asking himself... Is John just... Imagining what Garfield's thinking? Is any of this even correct? Don't worry. You can just tell by looking. So from now on, I think we should be aiming to be... We need to try to decide on someone who will kill us. <laughs> to escape the Kent route, because I don't think there's any other way. So, do we want Sawa to kill us? Do we want Mine to kill us? Do we want Shin to kill us? Do we want the mystery man of the streets to kill us? I look forward to that. All right, then I guess we're done. I'll walk you home, goody. <laughs> Maybe Orion can kill us with some space magic. Ah, today was fun. Wait, what am I doing? It was only yesterday that I was freaking out about not being able to recover your memories quickly enough. We didn't get Orion in a swimsuit, folks. What a waste of money. All I did today was smile while you were playing around with Kent. I'm no good at all. I want you to kill me, Owen. Dearie me. Uh, date lasagna. <laughs> Imagine calling your manager manager like that's his actual name. Ryan's dimension is a bit behind the times. Ryan is an abuse neighbor, Jesus. Kill me too, Owen. Guys, guys, I'll I'll kill everybody. There's <laughs> There's one big sweep. I get like death's scythe and just do everyone line up. August 17th. But still, what can we do to seriously start reclaiming more memories? I think we've gotten most of the information we could out of just living daily life over the last half a month. To be honest, just relaxing and reading next to Kent like this won't give us any information. At this rate, yet another day will go by without any progress. Let's try organizing our thoughts and make a plan. In order to gain more information from now on, I think there are two routes we can take. One is to brave some danger and asking more assertive questions to the people around you. The other is to brave even more danger and tell Kent about your amnesia. Of course, if you're too afraid, we can just let things take their own course and stay on the defensive for now. So, how do you feel about this? What do you want to do? Folks, this feels like the biggest choice so far. Kind of love that low-res image of Kent's stupid face we keep seeing. Yeah, I don't understand why the pictures are so kind of poor between the things. 
Got all the information we need, so we don't need you anymore, bug. Admit, admit, admit everything. Admit everything. Confess, confess, confess. <laughs> I want to admit everything. Okay. <laughs> I would like if this was, like, the difficulty options in a game. I don't want to face any danger. I want to admit everything. I want to ask more assertive questions. Like if this, these were the new Wolfenstein difficulty levels. Okay. You sure are bold. Well, I'm sure he would be worried for you at the very least, and I'm sure he'd be a good ally. That's Orion's I'm sure face. I also understand that it's painful to keep lying to him. The only problem is that Kent is so extremely stubborn. In other words, it would only be okay to tell him if we know for sure that he wouldn't take you to a hospital. Hmm. Still not entirely sure what Orion's problem with hospital treatment is but... Skyrim why have you been staring at me like that it's distracting there's only a week left before the conference but I'm not at all prepared yet I don't have time to play around with you if you tempt me like yesterday I'll just end up leaving what exactly is wrong with me even now I'm taking your gaze the wrong way and I can't help but look at you if you think my misunderstandings are bothersome tell me that way, I can concentrate on my work. Huh? What misunderstanding? I assume you can infer from my assumptions, correct? No, not really. How should I interpret your actions? Is this, is it really a misunderstanding? Are you really going to say that you're simply looking at me? Huh? Uh, does he think you were giving him a hot look or something? What do you think, folks? I don't mind, I don't mind. Okay. A little bit of blushing. In that case, if you are not opposed. Oh my God. Would you not mind if I kissed you? Eh? Eh? <laughs> okay, it's ellipses or please be patient. <laughs> Smooch. He is poison in his lips. Nanny, ch chotomate. Ellipses. Wait, you're not going to refuse? What? Oh, uh, sorry. I can't get going for now. No, Orion. No, Orion, you stay. Maybe we could use you. So it's really okay? Skyrim. I like you so much. Sorry, I was nervous. <laughs> I keep showing you such a pathetic side of me. I'm starting to dislike myself. Yet you still accept me, even when I'm like this. In that case, I should have told you my feelings sooner. I've thought this every day. I'd be happy if you felt the same way for me, but I wonder if that's the case for you. Thank you. But it seems it was a little early for us. This isn't the time to be thinking of such unnecessary things. If I don't concentrate, I won't make it in time for the conference. 
unnecessary things. I'm sorry, but could you face the other way when you read? Try not to enter my field of view. <laughs> I remember, have you lost your marbles? I'm catching up now. Oh, Ryan's gonna hide in his wardrobe. Okay. Ah, uh, this is no good. He's gone into full ignore mode. I understand that Kent's busy, but we need to gather as much information as possible too. It might be best to leave Kent for a while and try gathering information from other people. Oh sweet Jesus, are we still giving this scrub a chance? We're, s <laughs> we're on the Kent train. I ain't no getting off it. <sighs> and another day's over. What should we do? We don't have much time. Looks like it's getting dark. I'll walk you home. Oh, it's still too early to give up. This should be the time that you can speak most freely with him. Do your best and try to get him to talk about old memories. Uh-oh. I've forgotten about the uh, outrageously loose tie. Here we go, guys. Maybe we can get killed here and that's the end of the game. Ah, it's the Reaper, man. I see. So your boyfriend is walking home. That's good. I don't need to worry. Ooh, don't get any closer. <laughs> Murder us. <laughs> I see you're wary. Well, yes, I think it's good that you're wary around me. Skyrim, could this man be the Reaper-like man that you mentioned before? He's been saying this about everyone we've passed. Reaper? <laughs> That's amusing. You might not be wrong though, although I do actually have a name. It's Ukyo. You seem to know me, but I don't recall ever meeting you. That's right, I just know you. It's all one way. And what about Skyrimmer? She's... I don't know. Well, do you remember me? Huh? What do you mean you don't know? Does she know you or does she not? Which is it? What do you think, folks? Do I? Do I? Okay. Good. Answer his question with a question. That's a good way of avoiding it. Haha. <laughs> so you're trying to avoid answering. Uh, Ken seems really suspicious about this. Regardless, I'm glad you seem well. Be very careful as you go about your life, and be especially careful around me. What a thing to say. Wait, what exactly do you know? Nothing that I can talk about at this stage. More importantly, Kent, take good care of her. I don't need to be told that by someone I don't even know. Oh, right, sorry. There was a time when we knew each other too. What? What's happening? No, it's nothing. Pay no attention to me. Just don't let your guard down. If I see you near her again, I won't hesitate to report you to the police. That's fine. Just make sure that you don't hesitate when the time comes. Anyway, I hope we never meet again. I won't go by the cafe anymore. What is going on, folks? I hope you find happiness. What?
He was a mysterious and creepy man, just as you said. On the surface, he seems to be worried about you, but I don't comprehend why he's treating himself as such a dangerous person. I suppose a straight interpretation would be he may lose control and become the type of man who kills for pleasure. Although I don't want to believe that. Kills for pleasure? Don't say something like that so lightly. By the cafe, could he have meant Meido no Hitsuji? Did he show up there often? Huh? We have no idea. We've never seen him there as far as we know. And you were talking to him like you didn't know him. Maybe he goes to that cafe, but you just don't recognize him. Hmm. You would probably remember his face if he called you by name a lot. And yesterday, your attitude towards that young man, Shin, was like you had never met him before. What? Now you're the suspicious one? And now that I think about it, on that day when your attitude suddenly changed? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop, stop that train of thought. I'm opening a window here, folks. It's really warm. It's actually, it's a gorgeous day here today. Beautiful sky. <clears throat> um, stop that train of thought. Okay, folks, what do you think? Hurry home, hurry home, hurry home. Okay. Anyway, that man is dangerous. I should get you home before it's completely dark outside. You have work tomorrow, right? I'll come to the cafe to pick you up, so don't go home alone. Got it? We're grateful, but... Ah, uh, what should we do? He's really suspicious. August 18th. We're flying through it, folks. I don't... I don't know how long I should play for. How long has... How long has it been? An hour? Yeah. I've played for an hour. Uh, I'll play at least another day. We'll see how it goes. Oh, Skyrimer. Kent is at the table over there. Wait. More? Already? There's still another hour left before you're off work. He wanted to know about Ukyo, and I told him that Ukyo was one of your regular customers. Don't tell me you're cheating on him with Ukyo. Shinyai. Wait. And was Ukyo really that regular of a customer? To the point where you knew him by name? Oh, what should we do? This is bad. You talked to him like he was a stranger yesterday. Kent probably thinks this is strange too. And isn't it a little unfair of him to not come to you about this? <laughs> but ask Mine instead? Skyrimmer. Are you having trouble with Ukyo? I just heard about it from Kent. Toma too? I heard that as well. Oh. Talk of the talk of the town. And the manager. Haha. <laughs> There's nowhere to run. What should we do? You can run from Kent or feign ignorance. Or just tell him the truth. Regardless of how much you trust Kent, this is a big decision. You have to choose one. <sighs> Cafe Castlevania. Oh no, work's over. Have you decided what to do yet? Kent's waiting for you, but if you meet with him now, he'll definitely ask about Ukyo. Oh, wow. What do you think, folks? <laughs> Cafe Numero. Run, run. 
<laughs> run away from all the problems. Hello, Skippy. You're just in time, we're running away. I ran so far away. I ran to a wreck. Yep, we can do that. Okay, there's a backdoor for employees. <laughs> He's just instantly on board with the idea. If you leave from there, you should be able to go home and avoid Kent in the cafe. Although I feel a little bad for Kent, seeing how he's waiting. Just sneak out and... <laughs> oh well. I'm telling you, we're, we're stuck on this Kent route. No matter what you pick, it's Kent. <laughs> the run. Why well, he was waiting outside. You were trying to go home alone just now, weren't you? Let's go home. Wait, he isn't going to ask? We'd be grateful if he didn't ask anything, but this is kind of anticlimactic. But knowing he suspects you and not being asked anything is making me feel anxious. This was really unexpected. Ah, the silence is too painful. I wouldn't know anything about silence, Orion. You've been yapping in my fucking ear for most a month. We're already close to home. Do you want to try asking him something as a distraction? Do you mind if I come in? I want to talk. Here it comes. Skyrimmer. Daijobu. Think you can talk to him, regardless of whether you tell him the truth or not? We'll need some determination. I was thinking of the possible reasons that you could have elicited a change in your attitude. There were a number of factors to consider. Reasons ranging from a mere whim or a change of heart to the far-fetched such as an alien abduction. I think the scale he's using is a little long. That's rich coming from you, alternate dimension boy. After eliminating various ideas one by one, I was left contemplating the likelihood of a single possibility. A bug from an alternate dimension smashed into your head, erased your memories and took up residence. Regardless of how unbelievable the conclusion may be, seeing how I could find no mistake in my reasoning, my only choice is to believe it. So I've come to the most feasible conclusion. Your memories are missing. Your Marios are missing. Honestly, Kent, just fuck off. Another fucking walk with Kent. I'm still in the examination stage of determining the extent of that memory loss. At the very least, you seem to be missing memories from college. I believe the chances are high that you've forgotten all your past interactions with me. So, do you have any objections? I haven't forgotten everything. I'm sorry for trying to hide it. I'm sorry. I knew it. I'm thankful that you honest answered me honestly. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you talk to someone? <laughs> well, the bug told me not to. I couldn't trust anyone. I didn't want to be shut away in a hospital. A fucking bug. Hospital. That isn't a reason to hide it from everyone. I'm sure a lot of things were inconvenient for you. But I can understand why you would feel that way. Still, I see. So you really forgot. You forgot about that tenor. You owe me a tenor. Am I correct to assume that you lost your memory sometime between our discussion on July 31st and August 1st? I'm sure you were surprised by receiving such a sudden and unpleasant call. You probably have already guessed, but we 
had an argument over something trivial the day before. It wasn't just the day before, we argued every time we met over the worst of reasons. Yeah, we already knew. Since you didn't remember any of that, I'm sure I seemed like a strange man to you. I always spoke prepared for anything to turn into a dispute. You probably wondered why I was always angry. Yeah, we really did. And yet you still decided that I was worthy of some trust. Am I correct? So all this time, Kent was just trying to walk through a minefield to avoid an argument. Makes you think. If not, if you truly couldn't trust anyone, you wouldn't be as vulnerable around me as you are now. Well, there really wasn't anything suspicious about you, Kent. So I'm correct. Are we going to tell Kent about the bug? Oh, Kent is acting a lot calmer than I expected. Maybe he isn't surprised. I thought he'd send you to the hospital immediately, but he's shown no sign of that. We started dating on July 28th. Your attitude changed so suddenly, just three days later. When I realized you were acting differently, I was confused. I thought that perhaps you were taking or going out seriously too. I thought you had actually taken a liking to me. I couldn't bring myself to dismiss such opportunistic reasoning, optimistic reasoning. But it seems I really was wrong. You had simply forgotten, forgotten that you didn't like me, forgotten that our relationship was full of conflict. You took the fact that we were dating as truth and acted like you were my girlfriend. To be honest, I realized from the beginning that something was strange, but I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to believe that the you now was the real you. <gasps> I'm sure you'll remember eventually the real you, the you that disliked me. When will that day come? Today? Tomorrow? If I tell you the truth, Will you end up remembering everything? Will you remember the things that happened between us and how you really felt about me? I was scared and I averted my eyes from the truth. I'm sorry. I'm sure I could have helped you a lot sooner. I didn't want you to remember anything. Even as we speak now, I'm still confused and hesitant. I don't want to tell you anything. I don't want you to remember. I just want you to keep acting like this, like we're a happy couple. I realize that way of thinking is just my own ego, but still. It's okay if I don't remember, or was it really that bad before? It's okay, it's okay. I mean, that's kind of going against the aim of the game, but I gotta go with you. Thank you, and I'm sorry. However, I know this is something I need to talk about. You owe me that tenor. You have every right to know exactly who you are. And look, if I can just get that tenor. You were a university student who grew up in a very normal middle-class family. Your family lives some distance away, but you came to this city for college. I met you at a math study session planned by Sawa and Mine. They invited me to be the lecturer. You asked me for a tenor, I obliged, with the understanding that you would get it back to me within a week. The name of the study session was something along the lines of relearning basic math that's embarrassing to talk to people about at this age. We used the tenor as an early example. Anyway, I'm sure their aim was Ikkyu. It seems they had asked him to be their lecturer first. Ikkyu was in the same club as Mine. I had heard many times before that she was looking for a way to get closer to him. But Ikkyu introduced me instead, saying that I was far more suitable when it came to mathematics. He said he'd help out in some of my experiments concerning his condition, so I agreed to the lecture. You were one of the students participating at that time. We didn't get close during that class, though. 
Our ages were fairly far apart. I was simply the teacher and you were the student looking for a tenor. However, after getting to recognize who you were, a parasite, I realized that we walked the same path around the same time every morning. I was taking walks as a change of lifestyle from being shut in the laboratory and you were walking your dog. Have we forgotten a dog? Guys, I, I really don't like the idea that we've got a dog that we've forgotten about. Or does he mean Orion on a leash? After realizing you knew me, you would talk to me every day. There's no special reason why our relationship was so rocky. I anger people fairly easily, so it was normal for people to dislike me. The one thing that was different though, is that you never gave up on talking to me. No matter how many times we argued, you never learned your lesson. You'd still try to start up conversations. To this day, I'm still not sure if I should call them disputes or debates. Regardless, I'm sure you were trying to get to know me better. That perseverance is the one thing that still hasn't changed in you. Anyway, because of that situation, even after the study sessions ended, we'd see each other and argue every morning. You were really surprised when I asked you out. I still don't really know myself why I chose you. I suppose I could only see my feelings for you as being romantic in nature, and that's why I asked you. You were very shocked. I was only natural. The only thing we had done before this was argue. Kent, what about the dog? Is the dog okay? And I'm sure you don't remember now why you decided to accept my request. I suppose you could just say it was the heat of the moment. It looked almost like you had accepted a challenge. Do you still remember nothing? Oh, I'm remembering a dog. Yes, I remember. What? I said, I can only see my feelings towards you as being romantic in nature. And if a man has romantic feelings for a woman, his response should be to ask her out. That's what I thought, so that's what I did. Now let's make a giant baby. Wait, wait a minute. Choto, Choto Mate. You said yourself that this, that love is just something created by chemicals in the brain. I did, and I still believe that now. Then, why? What's wrong with delusions? At present, the, there are changes commonly known as love occurring in my brain. That's the truth. This is sexy talk, folks. And I'm interested in these changes. I want to analyze whether this is really a romantic emotion or not. And if it is, exactly what changes will occur. So, Skyrimmer. Do you have romantic feelings for anyone right now? Not really, but... Then there should be no problem. Would you like to try dating me? Mm. It's like it's an experiment. Why should I have to cooperate with something like that? I think past Skyrimmer had... a lot of sense. If you don't want to, that's fine. But I thought you wanted to preach to me about the existence and meaning of love. This is the perfect chance. I believe romantic emotions are merely a product of one... Of... Intracerebral chemicals. A part of one's instinct to preserve its species. Ah, <sighs> sexy talk, folks. However, you say that love doesn't need to have such a reason. If, as you say, the emotion known as love is a higher power beyond such reason and calculation, I'd like to you to make me believe it. If you manage to prove to me that you're correct, I promise to hold your emotional arguments in high regard. I don't see any drawbacks to this proposition on your part. Well, we would be dating you, Kent. <laughs> there it is. But I don't like you. I fully understand your dislike of me, more than I'd like to, in fact. Actually, the word dislike may not describe it well enough. I could even say that I'm hated by you. That's what I believe. But would you give up on preaching the higher meaning of love just because you detest a man? 
<laughs> ah, quite a... Quite a move. Right. I didn't like Kent. But after hearing the logic in his argument, I couldn't find a good reason to refuse him. I got irritated and accepted it. Oh, Jesus. That's what happened three days before I lost my memories. I see. It was only natural for Kent to see my attitude as suspicious. What is it? Did you remember something? I'm sure it wasn't a favourable memory in regards to us. I really doubt that the previous me could have sat down and talked calmly with Kent like this. There's no way you could have any memories favourable to me. If I didn't lose my memories, I might never have seen Kent make such a sad face in front of me. <laughs> so that's good. It was worth it because I got to see Kent sad. Okay, that's coming up to an hour and a half streaming, so I should probably leave it there for the moment. Um, thanks very much for coming along, folks. I know it's a big, I know it's a big ask, and it's a big, it, it's a big toll on the emotions. This stream, but uh. Thanks for David. No problem. I hope. <laughs> I hope even though everyone is getting incredibly cross. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, I hope you'll see it through to the end. And then we can. And then we can escape this. Escape to the sequel. I'll probably. I'll play different things. And then maybe sometime, if there's actually demand for it, I could play the sequel. <sighs> Dear me. <sighs> right. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care. Enjoy your honey. I will.